I'm T.C. Ristani, the host of the award-winning After Hours of T.C. Ristani, and I'm here with none other than... Sabrina Champagne King. And we want you to check out this... Fabulous clip. Roll it. talk about him right now. He's an accomplished comedian, he's a magician, and he's a postman. But in case you haven't seen his stand-up routine, take a look at this. True story. 13-year-old kid was arrested for dealing Viagra out before school in the morning. 13 years old. Is there an erectile problem in the eighth grade that we don't know about? Are they all on Paxil and they can't get it up? Is there something going on? 13 years old dealing Viagra. Could you imagine what this must have looked like? 8.30 in the morning. Kids walking by going to school. Psst, psst. Hey, hey, wanna get hard? <laughs> wanna get hard? I said hard, not high, hard, hard. <laughs> and you know there's gonna be one kid that one kid that's gonna buy the pill. He's gonna be in class, and the guys, you know what I'm talking about. He's sitting in and, and the pill starts to activate, you know, because the teacher's bending down. Uh, and, and you always get called to the board when you don't want to get up there, right? Johnny, would you like to go up to the board? And <laughs> Give me the chalk, I'll do it from here, okay? <laughs> what an unbelievable clip, he's an unbelievable entertainer. And after hours of T.C. Rastani is proud to re-return to the program, the one, the only, Johnny Peasy! Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm, it's so, <laughs> it is unbelievable to be here. I cannot believe I've done Vegas, Atlantic City. I finally made it right here with you. TC, this is a, <laughs> is it chills? Chills, oh, up my backbone, this quivers down my spine. I'm really? telling you. You're oh a chiropractor. My, oh my God, oh, look at, I can't Bill believe does. a legend in his own mind. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh my God, cough. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, John, you have an illustrious career. I'm looking over your bio here, which is professionally handwritten, by the way. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, so I... we're getting out of business here. You're a stand-up comedian, you're a magician and whatnot, but during the day, a mild-mannered mailman who fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. Are you disgruntled? Uh, well, you know something? I have been disgruntled at times, but ever since we stopped licking the stamps, yeah. there hasn't been one shooting in the post office. Really? Now, why do, really? Now, why do they do that? They're why? licking the stamp thing. That because too many uh, people are going to work and uh, having a gun and shooting their bosses. And really? You think they laced them there? There's some, there was something in the glow. A little Jim Jones action Something going in on? the glow. I don't know what it was, TC. Right. You know, I, I'm still so they get, oh really? So they guess that's why all those coin and stamp collectors are going out of business and whatnot because they can't look the stamps no and more. And they're not worth anything anymore. R really? Oh yeah. Oh, well, okay. But you have an unbelievable bio here. I'm talking about. Look at some of the luminaries that you perform with. None other than the late great, the man who always had our respect, Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I, oh, I'm telling you, he was. I mean, what's it like working with that guy? You know, he's a funny guy. Kind of kept to himself a little bit, but after the, after the show, he knew how to park. Oh hey. yeah, he was looking some stamps. Oh, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, beside stamps, never mind. We, we, we don't want to get into that. This is a M it's a family show. program. It's a family, family program. Family. Late night family program. All right. Also, none other than Rodney Dangerfield, the man from Ork himself, Academy Award winner Robin Williams. Now, wait, how'd you hook up with Robin? Uh, when, I went to one of his uh, went to one of his uh, concerts, and then after the show, his manager came up and said, "Hey, would you like to uh, come out to dinner with uh, Robin Williams?" Did he pay? Oh, he, oh, yeah. Oh, That's really? the first time I had Don Perry on. Really? Oh, yeah. And I tell you, I got to tell you one thing about this guy. Here's a guy that just Didn't got up Didn't she sing with Tony Orlando? Um, that wasn't, no. That wasn't that Don? No, that wasn't that Don. All right, all right, all right. Didn't Don on me, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so, but I won't. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. So anyways, TC, what happened was his manager asked us if we wanted to go to Denham, and I said, let me think about it. I said, okay, I'll go. And then <laughs> about eight or ten of us went, and we went to a little restaurant that kept open, and it was the guy, his after performing in front of 10,000 people, really? did not sit down for one second in the restaurant. Well, the, minute we, the minute we come in, there was ten of us, he went, Christ party, table of 12, Christ party, table of 12. <laughs> did you play the Judas? Uh, I did. Yeah, I, I, did. I knew you would. But also, you also had a run-in with your idol, right? The one, the only, the man with the telethons, Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Oh, my God. I mean, there's, there's a guy that I grew up, my idol. Really? Uh, that is my idol. And uh, I, I, I did get to meet him. At, uh, he was at, a, at an autograph session one day. And was I, Jerry Pearlswig there? 
Who? Exactly. All right, go on. Tell the story. <laughs> Lingo! Come on. him up over there. You look like you need a I'm, telephone. I'm a, I'm a wait, TC. What do you mean you're about Jerry Lewis? The man is work with Jerry Lewis. Yeah. And that's all your response is, yep. I can't believe it. Jerry, Jerry Lewis does a good job in the, on the much less discipline television. That's really? Right. He's raised yeah. billions of Do you know he's the only comedian ever, ever to be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize? Really? Okay, oh. Ringo. Wow. wow. Okay? That's Yep. That's unbelievable. Now, you've worked with Mr. Fireman himself, Dennis Leary, also, huh? Uh, for, yeah, for a very hit series. They, I guess it's, he's the summer save. He's saving the whole TV networks with his rescue all right. me. Since you know all these connections and what, do you think you get me in the colonel on some of these shows? I'm going to tell you something. You know, I, after being here and the excitement that's brewing here, I'm going to talk to some people in the know. Because I know people. <laughs> that's why I'm still a mailman. Really? But the thing is, uh, I'm gonna, I think I could do something. Really? You think, you think, oh, look, you think look I could host you, my own talent hunt? I tell you, could raise billions. I could. Oh, oh. Call the number on the screen right now and help out me in the crowd by dialing 1-800. <laughs> what do you think about that? You think that's going on? That's going to be good. And all the money that comes in for this telethon, I'll tell you something right now. It's going to go to my car insurance. Okay. Yeah. All right. The biggest thrill in my life, of course, is looking in the mirror every morning and saying, I can't believe that's really me looking back at me. <laughs> but your biggest thrill in life is meeting none other than Pete Best. Let's see if the Colonel knows who Pete Best yeah, is. Yeah, Colonel, do you know who Pete Best is, Colonel? Yes. Come on. Pete Best is the original drummer of the Beatles. Really? Whoa! That's impressive, oh. Colonel. And yeah. is that why you took the name Ringo? No. Because of the other Beatles drummer, huh? Nope. Why, I did, why did you take the name it's, Ringo? Uh, it started uh, from uh, with, with Johnny's uh, hometown boys. Johnny and I are hometown boys. That, we're hometown boys. You're hometown boys. Hometown. Could you elaborate the audience out there what that means? Um, hometown means the big East Boston. The big East, East Boston. Boston. How you doing over here? So, all right, so how does Ringo get into East Boston? It started with, uh, with, a, with a couple of guys on, uh, on the old Eagle Hill. Okay. You know, that clarifies it for me. I, I don't know about you, Johnny. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. So what are the extracurricular activities? I know you host a big radio show out there. Yeah, we just started a radio show Wednesday nights, 7 to 8 on 1510 The Zone, sports comedy. And I got to tell you something, it has been going fantastic. Is that AM? AM, AM. Thank you very much. TCC, that's the thing about See, you as a I, I got to get the point across I'm telling you know? You're good. You're good. So what are you doing here? You talk about we you talk give all the money, you like a bookie or something? Well, no, actually... Um, <laughs> Uh, we talk about sports and comedy. We take some current things that happen in sports and we make them funny. Oh yeah, like, give me an example, like bowling or something. No, well, we, uh, bowling we can make that funny. Give me an example, of what you do? Okay, for instance, um, Roger Clemens. Here's a guy here, 44 years old, earned money average 1.50, just having the most unbelievable career as he's getting older. See, not carrying his bags early in his career has really, really paid off. For him. Really? <laughs> So, how, when does the show on again so I can tune in? Tomorrow night, well, 7 don't give us Wednesday a Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night, 7 to 8, 15, 10 a.m., The Zone. And how long is the show? An hour. One hour. They how many minutes is that, Colonel? That's an hour. An hour. <laughs> I know it's an hour, but how many minutes is it? Johnny, tell me something. On the, on the 15, 10 uh, Zone. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, wait a just spit in my eye. That's how okay. many minutes is, is an hour, Colonel? Six, six, six. So it's 660. I'm getting a shower over here, Colonel. Can All you right, spit it out? Hey. If you want to join me on this show, and TC. You're just going to follow the contact information at the bottom of the screen. Remember, this is After Hours and we are what? Never, Never closed. closed.